All right, folks, part two to the single strand Matthew Walker knot. All right, it's exactly as we uh, had it when we left off from the first video. Now, the tightening process. Okay, again, this is the tedious part. This takes a lot of uh, practice and time. Go ahead and pull on this one to get it tightened. Most important thing is making sure each cord stays in its own path, in its own lane. Okay, now, of course, the best thing to do is I turn it upside down when I tighten it. Okay, because that way. I can see what chord is next. This is the beginning chord, obviously. So what we want to do is go ahead and tighten this up. So what's going to happen here is this is going to kind of backtrack a little bit. You're going to run that down like so. Okay. Same thing with this one. You can run this down and tighten it up next to it as well. See that? Same thing with this one here. Now, being sure as you tighten each one up that they stay in its own path. Okay, see that? See how I'm trying to keep them right in their own lane? Even as I tighten it up. And we'll be cutting these rubber bands off here soon, okay? All right, now once you got that tightened up, now being sure that each one stay in its own path. All right, I wouldn't recommend cutting the rubber bands off until you actually get it tightened up as best you can where it's at. Okay, so let's go ahead and start tightening up one of these one by one. By one. It doesn't matter if you start from the beginning, it's good if you can, but sometimes you're not gonna be able to. Find that one there that pulls through. No, it's not there yet. Let's see here, it should be. And in order to find the right one that you gotta tighten up, pull on it. This is right here. Okay, good. Alright. See, I wanna move that back over, see if it jumps off the track. You can see where it kind of goes here. See? All right, that was the last one we were tightened up. So, you want to pull that core through. And basically, when you're looking for the core that you want to tighten up, and you can pull on it and see which one it is. Again, this is not a knot that you will learn <laughs> in one shot. It takes time. See, I'm going to pull each one through. And you can, like I said, you don't have to start from the beginning but you want to make sure you have the right cord and you're going to tighten it up, okay? And make sure each cord stays in its own path. See how I'm trying to keep my, press, keep my fingers pressed on this as I tighten them up? And then I'm going to find this one here in the bottom somewhere, all right? Now, you can cut rubber bands off at any time you feel comfortable that, you know, you got it where you want it at, okay? I recommend tightening up as best you can before you do cut them off because they will help keep things in place for you. See that? See how I'm tightening up? And you want to keep doing that bit by bit, slowly. Again, it's a tedious process. And of course, with practice, you're going to get a lot better at it and you're going to make them look more better than I can. This is that one right there. See that? And see what I mean by how each one goes into its own bite? All right. This one's kind of spread out a little bit. We will be able to even that out here once we get it tightened up. All right. Again, this is a tedious knot to tighten. You just go round and round and round all the time. And keep tightening up each one. Now, 
Again, when you tighten it up, make sure you keep it in its correct path. All right, and you can see it's starting to form here. Once we cut these off, it's going to be tricky because, like I said, it's, if you can get it tightened up real good up front before you cut the rubber bands off, then you're, you're going to be golden. See how it's kind of starting to form a little bit? Again, you want to make sure each one goes into its own bite. A lot of times you'll have one that skips two of them, okay? And that one's kind of a wide spread there, but again, as you tighten it up, it will even it out. As long as you have each one going into its own bite, you're good to go, all right? We could, I've only, uh, I didn't do as many bites as I should have on this large, on this large size mandrel for the very reason that I was trying to keep the demo short. And when you do finish this knot up, you're going to want to take this cord and make sure your, 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 you know, your running cord where you end at are next to each other. That keeps you from having a bump in the middle of this, okay? If this is too far back, what you have is you have like a little divot here. You want to avoid that by keeping your starting and your running cord right next to each other, okay? All right, so and let's go ahead and cut the rubber bands off here. And you can see that it's going to, you know, jump, jump out on you a little bit. It's going to loosen up a little bit, especially the top bites. Let's pull that. Being sure to keep your fingers pressed on there. See how it's a little bit loosened up? This is where it's going to be easy to jump off track. Okay. There we go. Again, keeping your fingers pressed on here. Make sure you don't get them all. And you don't have to, you don't have to pull that through. I mean, you don't have to get it all out right now. But being sure to keep each one in its own path. All right? And then you just keep tightening up it as we just did it. Let's get that rubber band out of there. There we go. All right? Being sure as you tighten it up, and let's go back to the beginning here to just show you that. All right? Now obviously, here's a starting cord here. So let's pull on it a little bit, and let's just kind of start from the beginning and follow that one, this cord around right here. And see how it's a little bit loose? Pull on a little bit, keeping it in the same path. And then you're going to find it over here. Okay, that's not that one. It's the next one over. I'm sorry. This one right here. And just pull on it. And that's the one we're working on. Pull on it to tighten it up a little bit. Now what I do is I use my finger to keep it pressed. Again, this is not something you can tighten up too quickly, too fast. All right. Here's the one we're going to need to tighten up next. All right, see that? And you're just going to keep... Slightly snug in each one, bit by bit, until you go all the way around. And when you come up to the top and you get the one that you're working with on the top, I'm going to press down with my fingers and continue lay it down flat on the track. Okay? And find it again up here. See? You're going to keep doing that bit by bit, making sure each one goes into its next bite. Okay? You don't want this one skipping two, going to the next one, okay? Then you made a mistake somewhere. And using your fingers again, keeping them pressed down. See how this one comes out from underneath that one? That should stay next to that one. All right. So using your fingers, keeping it pressed, and so on. I think you guys got the point now. See that? And you can see this is not going to be that much of that's. It's not going to be that wide of a Matthew Walker knot because we didn't do as many bites or turns as we should have. All right, see how this is trying to jump around? Again, you want to make sure it stays in its own path. All right, using your fingers to press down as you go. And it should fall right into place as long as you don't pull on it too hard. All right. Not too hard. The tightening process on this, like I said, is very tedious. See that? Make sure it stays in its own path. And I think you guys got the point. Okay. Lay it down flat. Just keep going all the way around. And I think that was it. So 
Like I said, it takes practice. I'm still learning this knot and, you know, messing with it myself. And again, you can kind of tighten up it there, right, did you want. But you can see how each on top comes out from the next one over, okay? Let's see. That one's a wide, we should have done more bites on this one to cover this mandrel better and to make it a little bit wider, okay? Just make sure that each one stays in its own, in its own way. And see how, see that? You guys got it? All right, again, and you can see a little bit of a divot here. That's because we didn't, it's not one, it's not tightened all the way. We still need to tighten up some. But again, there you have it. Okay. I should have probably added about another two to three more bites to this one to kind of give it a, you know, make them the same distance as these are over here to this right here. See that? So again, it's something you got to play with. All right. But I hope this guys give you an idea on how to tie it. Like I said, I would recommend starting small and also, uh, you know, with, you know, not as many bites needed for what you're trying to cover. All right. There you go. Doodles.